all right. So we've had it back for them through the car bit and stuff, and um, it's time for a compression test. I've um, got good spark. It's getting cool. Time to check out the compression in it. If it doesn't go in there, don't go forward to it either. Take your time to screw it in. And you'd have to do it up very tight. Just clip, just clip it on like that. Just down there. So that's it. Let's start. We've got 25 psi. I'll just grab a jump starter and we'll give that another go. I'm gonna do that. We'll be um I'll give it some more kick, that way it will read better. Alright, we've got more kick, now we'll test it. Our problem. I'll pack up this compression tester. We'll take the valve off it. There's no metal shavings or nothing in it, in the dipstick or anything. so they don't get down. All right, take the, this valve cover off. Get the right socket. These ones are a bit tricky to get at. Oops. What would make this easier if the engine wasn't any? If the engine was in it. Doesn't look like anyone's ever taken this off. Whoops. Can you drop another one? 
I'll have to get that bolt first. Where's that going? Yeah, losing any of that stuff. Just that when it was back when I grew the car, it was like the vans aren't opening and closing properly. So it's the back to me with this. Get a screwdriver or something for that. And the other piece is stuck in it. So we can get that cover up there. Because that's not me no good. Yep. Wonder if we can get that out. Carefully. Yeah, damage in it. Let's just hold one more. Jesus Christ, it's loose as anything. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. How big is it? What the hell? This thing's pretty big. Check this out. Happened to that. I'm sure it'd have been wearing a fair bit on it. I don't think that's in the spec. I wouldn't call that in the spec, that's for sure. Hopefully, it hasn't done any more damage. get one of them ordered and when I get that in the mail I'll bring these back all right got this in the mail just took the cover back off it didn't want to bore you with that and down um, here's the push rod the new one let that under this Like how you adjust them while it talks a bit. Get around. Got a little talk spin in here. It's like, what is it, two, four, six star. The good thing is with that aluminium shit, it's really soft. So, if any little bits or anything. got in the actual motor it's not going to actually do any damage because it's soft it wasn't steel so that's one good thing <laughs> see that over there oh um 
I'll just have a look at this. I'm going to get that old push rod too. I want to have a, get a torx bit in that because I'm going to need something that can fit in here on an angle. Because I've only got that much room. Probably this much room to get my hand in. So I want to find a torx bit and that'll bring us back to it. Alright, I've got the right torx bit for it. It's a, uh, it's a T20. That's what it is. You just put that in there. We we'll use my small ratchet. That's good. And I've got one for the top too. <coughs> to adjust that. But this one won't fit because it won't quite go in there. Down here. Where it does it, so I've got one on the socket. This one. like this is good doesn't want any damage so what we do is we rip this one out take it with a brand new push rod I've got the old one here we need to measure it to make sure it's a full size yep perfect you can see the wear on it around here where it's been chafing and that's what's broken very poor design that's how it went wrong all right let's set this video of clearance put the new push rod in got it in Sockets all complete now. There's, uh, there's no damage on him, which is good. I've measured the rod with the old one. This piece of shit that broke. Just tighten that up for the time being. Now we'll rotate it, make sure they both move properly. Which they do. Now, I don't know what series this is. It's a two, um, where's the color? It's a 219807. I've got a manual here. I've got the VRC. Some people say they're going to be a set between four and six. The intake and the exhaust. The intake's the bottom one, the alloy push rod. Top one still no pressure on that at the moment. Now I was reading somewhere 
you bring it up to top dead center and you take it back a quarter of inch but that's not right i'm not going to worry about doing that i'm just going to wind them around like that until they got no pressure on them which is you're free Set at seven at the moment. So it's nice. Right. That's the exhaust top money. This is intake. That's how it's between three and five. Make it four and a half. Jesus, that's almost spot on there. Still a bit loose. I have to tighten it up again. Do it all again. I don't think I can get my torque spin in there. Oh, yeah, I can actually. Let me handle the piece. Now yeah, we'll have to undo that again. Right, anyway, that's a four and a half, and we've got that one set at seven. What we'll do is we'll rotate the engine. 
explain. We'll check them. So that one's at seven. That's nice. That one's at four and a half. Nice and tight. Good. I do it. Yeah. Single cylinder, isn't it? But I don't know what my whole series this engine is, so I'd look on the internet to talk about more information. And that's how I got this garbage. So we'll just rotate it a few times by hand, make sure it's all moving properly. bit of sealant to put it. Okay, just put some gasket going in. So the bolts in. Let's put it back on. And I'll clean that off with a rag in a minute. All that stuff dries. Tighten all these bolts down before it, before it dries. Got one of those rigged though. Don't tighten them up. No, I said I'm too tight. Alright, 
get some spray and rad clean and gasket cleaner and all right just get a rag spray some of this one here just wipe that straight off the top of it Alright, that's that done. I not worried with that little thing. That one. Right, yeah. Oh, um, oh, the next step is now. Is I'll get it. Get, um, put the spark plug in it and that. And, um, we'll try and start it. can see that properly. Alright, let's crank it again. So we've got, it's easy, we've got uh, what is it, 200 and 20, 200, and, no, 210. I don't know if that gauge is right, but I've got another gauge and we'll get that one out. About 25 psi before I put the, fix the valve up. I'll just get the other gauge out. I wonder if that brings back. Alright, I've got this silver line on here, we'll see what this does. I don't know if that will go into that or not, though. No, it's not going to, bloody hoof. Oh, I've got the silver one hooked up. Let's see what that one gives us. The silver line one gives us about 175. We've got a slight heat leak. Yeah, so we had. We've got over 150 PSI, which is good. It seems like the other gauge, this one I've got is not accurate. Must have got it mixed up. But I'm um, here, yeah, I'll put a, pack this crap up, this compression chest and that. I'll put this motor back together and we'll try and start it. Alright, let's try and start it. I've got to put the spark plug back in. Where is the spark plug? Right here. There's a little bit of oil in the plug hole too. That can vary with the compression reading what you get as well. So if it's oily a bit, just remember that. I've had this laid over on its side too. I was working on it, so when it starts up, I'm expecting it to smoke a bit. Battery. Let's 
draw and start the scene. Get a little bit of fuel, put down the car. I think before I put a bit of fuel in the car, I think I'll take the spark plug back here and just um, check it. Is that a bit of oil in there? It could be a bit. It's oily a bit. A bit of petrol, put him back in. with this bottle.
All right, I'll um, give it an oil change because we had that piece of metal in it from the, from the, uh, where is it? The push rod. Our broken push rod here. I'll change the oil in it. I'll degrease it down and clean it up. And um, yeah, she's a runner. To change the oil in it is this. That's how you change oil. Just crack this and drain. And I've got to put all the covers and that back on it too. So what I'll do is I'll degrease it first, cover up the carby. And I've got to work out the kill switch wire and put another loom back in it. I've got another wire and room for it. And um, yeah, what I'll do is once I degrease the motor, I'll get the degrees out, wash it all, clean it all up. And um, turn the fuel off too. has not got a little lot of fuel left in it. And um, if it's if you if you're out of adjustment, just back this screw off and push the cable that way. This is slow, and if it hasn't got enough, pull the cable back towards you, and they'll give it full throttle. It just works on there. If you move it, if you push it forward, that's the choke. And yeah, I'll just give it all degrees, and I'll plug up the carby. I'll put all that other crap back on it, so I've got the cover and stuff. And when I do this grease and that, I'll bring this back after I washed it. Just gonna spray the whole engine. With the greaser, with the carbon. I'll leave that sitting for a bit. I'll, um, I'm going to drop the oil out of it too as soon as I finish this. And once I do that, I'll bring this back for that. I'll just leave this sitting for a few minutes and I'll hose it all off and I'll give it an oil change. Alright, I've finished washing it down, we've dried it off. Now we're going to do an oil change. So, what you do is, is you get a shifter, put on the bottom of this bolt. Make sure you've already warmed up the motor too. And you're going to need an oil pan. I've got a, just an old bacon dish. I'm going to want to put this here. Anytime you ever have anything break in the motor, you want to get it running, you want to drain it straight away. Right, so I've got that old bacon dish under it. So if it all starts to run out, which this is one of the messiest jobs of a ride on Mormo. Oh, 
of um, warmed it up too. I never went to undo it when it was cold. So it's already been hot. And you just leave that there for a while until it dries. Then once you finish it, you can just get some small engine oil. It's um, say 30. The oil. I'm gonna need two wheels for this. Always grab yourself a little two litre tub too to get in there. It only holds 700 mils oil, I think. And um, just leave it there to drain out on its own. Every bit of that shit out. That's some old raft for Washington. It's just drying out at the moment. And um what I was gonna tell you is too is that this push rod what I put in it, this um intake, because it's aluminium, the exhaust one steel. So on the um, push rod disaster, um, Briggs and Stratton's gone broke, and um, I couldn't even get one of these push rods in Australia for it. That old one from the USA. I think, um, what was the bloke's name? Ran his engine parts or something. I picked it up online. I do have his card inside. And um, yeah, the push rod cost 50 bucks. It was outrageous for the push rod. And I had to wait about oh, four weeks just to get the push rod because no one in Australia had it and because Briggs and Stratton's gone broke there's no one's got any parts for it and no one's got no junk modes or anything where I could get one out of so I had to wait all that time just to get a push rod for this thing so if you're buying Briggs and Stratton motors be very careful because who knows what's going to happen with them now I don't even know like you know they say they sold the company to someone else, but oh, who knows? I mean, this bullshit's been going on since last year, 2020. I mean, this is eight, nine months ago, all this bullshit started playing out. Now it's, you know, I went to get this stupid part for it, and you couldn't even get an aftermarket push one for it. So yeah, that was that fiasco on a push rod. Um, yeah, apart from that, this was just a junk motor. I didn't know if I could get it fixed or not. Like I didn't know if it was possible. And um yeah, she's got it sounds like it's got very low amps with the compression what I've what it's got in it. And um yeah, I'm not gonna want this motor, I'm just gonna get rid of the engine and take the diff out of it. And um because I've got no use for it. I only brought them as junkers to see if I can get them fixed up and make a couple of bucks at the same time. That's all I do. Really, and um, yeah, I'll be making a lot more videos. Hopefully, I'll. I've been looking. I've got the um, just finished the boat engines. I'm um, planning on getting more boat engines and um, stuff like that. Boats, ride-ons, motors, and stuff. And yeah, if you have any questions about it, I did have the valve settings. I think I told you. I set the um, intake at four and a half. So zero point. 
on the fuel gauge set and I set the exhaust at 6 I think it was on the uh, exhaust it was 6 on the exhaust and it was 4.5 on the intake and um, yeah and uh, yeah this is a common problem with these push rods I actually rang up about a rod on folk and um, asked him about these push rods to try and get one off a of junk mode and he said they're a common problem so yeah thanks for thanks Briggs and Stratton for that just trying to get more money out of people they could have made that still and never have this problem but then again if it was that case I wouldn't be able to get these modes it wouldn't be possible to get stuff like this for absolutely nothing and yeah That will be it. I'll put the covers back on and I'll give his one last um, snap look at that once I've got it all assembled. And yeah, and that with the end of the ride on lawnmower. So in the end, I've got the wire on's a mess too on it. I've got another wire and move in the um, shed, but I've got another lawnmower like this. That's why I originally bought it for the diff. But then it had this motor and I thought this motor could be saved. The um, other mode one I've got another black rod on what you will see in the video at the start. That mode was um it's it's got no compression in it. And yeah, once I put the cover on, I'll fill it back up with oil. The oil's drained out, the oil's not too bad. But you want to drain it when stuff breaks. And yeah, once I uh, do that it'll bring us back to the final look at it. I think it's 700 mils. I bore you with that. Just take the hips together. Put the 700 mils of oil in there. Up until the mark. And that's it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want. The bad ending. And um, yeah. That's it. That's the end of the ride on moles. Until I get some more.